Uh, slow. Trying to come down best you can. I'll tell you, get peed on right there. Yeah. Pelham, Jason Pelham found this. This is a member. I've got a video of this deer. We called him, we had a naming contest, and everybody's calling him all kinds of things. And one guy named him Digger, because it looked like a shovel. So it looked like a shovel. You see part of it ate off. Man, he's a big deer. We've been looking for this deer. I was afraid he died, because I hadn't seen any video of him since probably November. So, big deer. Well, okay, welcome to the Mendota Ranch. Today, what I'm working on is we're breeding mares. Here we go. We've already collected the stud, had a, a good collection. They gave us about 10 billion. We got three mares to breed. We've already checked this mare. I ultrasounded her. She was a, a 30, 35 on the left ovary. And what we did is we gave them Desirelin yesterday. So I checked him yesterday and they were close. So I give him Desirelin. What the Desirelin does is that's the LH. That makes them ovulate about 30 hours after you give the shot. So the ideal is we gave it 24 hours ago, 24 hours ago and then we breed her today and she should ovulate by around lunchtime today. So first things first, let's wash them up. I use ivory soap. And I just hold the water up here. I don't squirt the water in. I just hold it up high, start on the center, and then work your way out. Once you go out, don't come back to the inside. Go load the semen up. So we're in my lab here. This is kind of my cloning lab. And I so tomorrow I got Russian Channel One TV showing up. Apparently they're the number one Russian television show. They kind of they come to interview me about the cloning. So I testified down there at Austin about Texas Parks and Wildlife screwing me over. So, so then the Russians called me. Well, they did a big article in Austin paper. And, and then that Stephen Colbert, they did the night, late night show, whatever his, that, that douche wagon is. He did a, a cartoon making fun of me. Bambi returns the Clone Wars. Your genetic interference has made me a fiend. So, so then I get the Russians call me, and then the Germans, the Germans are coming on Tuesday. Can you me? I told the German, I said, well, you can just come when the Russians come. <laughs> the German said, uh, no. Apparently, the Germans and the Russians maybe don't get along. I don't know. When you go in, go to the high side, don't go low. 
air pocket at the top. See the air pocket up here? Horse semen is extremely fragile, so don't shake it. Don't just go nice and slow with it. Nice slow. Kind of come down best you can. I tell you, get peed on right there. That's why you take your time coming out of the cervix. Because if you like really fast with it and they decide to squat and pee at the same time, they can pull all that semen out. So, or not all of it, but most of it. All right, we're done. Well, there you go. So we, we'd already collected the stud. I'll, I'll do a video on just collecting the stud. And I'm gonna do a video on ship semen and how to set your mare up for that. But let's recap what we did. I checked these mares yesterday. Um, they were all 30 plus um, with good edema. Then we gave them a shot of Desrelin. That's the LH. That makes them ovulate. That makes them release the leg, the egg, right? So you got ovaries, follicles. The oocyte is in the follicle, releases into the oviduct, comes down. Okay. They're going to be ovulating within, I'd say by lunchtime. It's probably nine o'clock, nine thirty right now. And then like Ruby had just ovulated. And so we collected the stud. And we bred them. And the idea is we only want to breed them one time. If you breed them two times, you screwed up. Something you did, you did something wrong. Every time you put semen in there, it irritates the uterus. So let's, we want one low dose of semen. I mean, you want enough to breed it. So you want a, a billion plus mobile sperms. Actually, today, the, these got like a billion and a half mobile. Just because that's what the semen. I'm not going to dump semen down the drain just because I got extra. So I just knew I had three mares to breed. I extended the semen out for three breedings, and there you go. I don't know what else to tell you. It's simple. Mares are easy to breed. Um, it's all vaginal. I went in, uh, stuck my finger in the cervix, started the pipette in there, um, got got the pipette through the cervix, or you'd say through the cervix. And what I was telling you, that cervix is about that long. So you get the pipette to the last, and to really get through there, you have to go in rectally and pick that cervix up and kind of move it around. So if you just get close to the end of the cervix, you're really good. Just just back it. Don't go to rooting around and and dilating it. Just just because that cervix is already extremely soft, and so just go easy with your semen, and you'll go on in. And then as you come out with your pipette, pinch your cervix off, and then hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. You know I held it what 30, 40 seconds, something like that. And then come out. Don't let don't you know, any air go back in there. Because remember that cervix is really soft and really open. And the reason it's like that, it's like if, if they're breeding naturally, the cervix is usually high up here and it's tight. Okay. Well, whenever she's in heat, it relaxes and lays on the floor. So when the stallion mounts her, the semen runs right in. So that means if semen runs in, water runs in, piss runs in, crap runs in. Everything that can run in there can run. So that's why we're clean and slow and easy. And so if you go out real fast and you suck a bunch of air uh, in there, then they just suck air back in. So that's it. So here's, so here's what we're going to do now. Uh, probably, um, tomorrow I'll check them. You can wait. I mean, the semen's good for 48 hours in there. Um, but I'll probably check them tomorrow. Uh, mainly because I got the Russians here and they'll give the Russians something to look at. Make sure they ovulated. And then from the day they ovulate, then we count. Uh, you can go 10 days. I go 14 days since, since I'm not, these don't, well, I'm not flushing embryos out of these. We'll go 14 days, ultrasound them, see if they're pregnant or not. And if they are pregnant, then we're going to start kind of moving into the pregnant mode. If they're not pregnant, then we'll start setting them up for the next breeding. So, you know, about 50, 60 percent is kind of the chance of getting them pregnant each time. Horses just aren't very fertile. So just kind of the, what, the world we live in, we've created a horse that's not very fertile. We're, we're more breeding for performance and not for fertility. So it's not like a cow or something. So 
All right, I know I'm forgetting something, but so drop me a comment, drop me a good comment, and I'll try to answer everything I can. So there you go. Mare Breeding 101. See you. Thanks.